Welcome back. The pandemic is taking its toll on muni finances across the country. And the work from home trend could impact the beleaguered muni bond market even more. Joining me to discuss is Tom Koslick. He's head of municipal strategy and credit at Hilltop Securities. Tom, it's good to have you back. And I really want to dig into this concept of how work from home might hurt certain parts of the muni bond market. Which ones in particular? Yeah, so let me be clear on the on the work from home concept. The first thing is, frankly, I mean, I'm seeing all the polling and data and and results that are saying that there are all kinds of people who like to they like working from home. I think that in the near term, that there are going to be companies who are going to uh, allow folks to work from home. Uh, I, I think that it's going to be more of a, a temporary situation, temporary meaning something that's, that could very well last for one, the next one to five years. And as you alluded to, I think that in the near term, there could be some situations where uh, state governments, local governments, other entities that are relying on things like wage taxes or commuter taxes, uh, there could be some uh, budget gaps that are going to be need, need to build, be filled as a result. Yeah, I know you're going to get to who you think are beneficiaries, but I just want to stay on this for a moment because mm -hmm. the next one to five years could be a very difficult period depending on what relief does or doesn't come from Congress and so forth. I mean. Which parts of the muni market are most vulnerable? Would you tell investors you really want to stay away from? So I wouldn't necessarily say that I would I'm, I'm telling folks to necessarily stay away from certain situations or certain entities. But I think that uh, some of the larger entities uh, on the coasts and a combination of California and New York, uh, some of the larger cities and in, in, uh, on the coasts are going to be impacted negatively. I think that uh, some of the beneficiaries could be some of the mid-sized cities where a combination of uh, corporate headquarters and other folks might move there as a result. I mean, it's so difficult to know where we're going to be in five years. You know, if you're right and we're all going back to work, that's one thing, although there clearly has been a change in where people are, you know, the, the distribution of the population has clearly changed. On the other hand, if even a fraction of people, a significant fraction, continue to work from home or, or work elsewhere, that would seem to have a big impact. So how do you think that's going to affect things down the road? Yeah, I think that there are one of the things that's happening is that a lot of the trends that we saw occurring already uh, are just being accelerated. I think that one of the big changes that we've seen uh, in this time period versus 20 years ago after 9-11, when folks started to uh, move out of, you know, say, the New York City area, uh, technology is a lot better now. And that's one of the reasons why I think that people believe that in the, you know, not only in the next couple of years, but even in the medium and long term, they believe that they're going to be able to do their jobs, you know, for the next five or 10 or 20 years remotely. Well, I think that what's going to end up happening is after companies uh, allow workers to feel, you know, feel safe when things get, you know, when, when we finally get on the other side of this, I think that, you know, individual workers, and companies are going to re you know, remember and or realize that one of the big reasons that we jam ourselves into cities is because of the concept of human capital. And he, the, the concept of human yeah. capital, creating relationships, I think that that's, those are some of the things that are going to be a very important going forward. It's going to be a tug of war. You know, don't tell my friends who just bought houses kind of far out who are counting on work from home uh, for a little while, their young kids. Yeah. Tom, we'll leave right. it there. Thank you, sir. Tom Koslick from Thank Hilltop you. on the future of the muni market. Coming up with housing and tight supply, would-be buyers are turning to builders and they're having a hard time keeping up with the demand. We're going to hear from one such builder next. Don't go anywhere. We're back in a couple. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM-insured muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual. 